exactly did Satyam fudge the books for amounts that were so large? This company employs 50,000 plus people and it said it had 5,000 crores of cash when it only had a few hundred. How was this possible? What were the details? Haris Usman of NDTV digs further into the details. Let's hear the story. The emperor has no clothes, but he claims he's the only one who knew. Not possible given the complexities of maintaining an account. So how exactly did Raju hoodwink the country? Here's how he did it. Fraud can occur at any stage of invoicing depending who wants to perpetrate the fraud. So for example, if let's say business head wants to perpetrate the fraud, he would then uh, show that as if his people have been neutralized at a higher level. How could the veil of deceit have been constructed for sales and profits to keep rising? Fraud could have been done through invoicing or transactions with shell or unknown overseas entities which means billing would have inflated sales and this could have also inflated debtors. Payments could have been received from the entity and reversed through Havala transactions. This led to a creation of higher reserves than assets and the Meta's deal was proposed to fill this void. But what's more intriguing is how the cash and bank balances could have been fudged. There are many possibilities here. The foolproof option is to inject cash before the reporting day. Some variation can also be explained with unbanked checks. The second, statements for liquid funds or fixed deposits were forced and duplicated since most cash or bank entries are checked by juniors and audit firms. The third, auditors colluded with the management. The fourth, less likely though, was that the banks colluded as well. The other possibility gaining some acceptance is that the money was siphoned off only in the past few months and even intercompany transactions are under scrutiny. Say at some level, the role of Metas uh, will will be looked at also, and how uh, what were the transactions between Satyam and Metas? Were there any transactions whatsoever, either directly or through some intermediary uh, individuals or other companies? The money in the books is not real. The clients may not have existed, but Ramalinga Raju could not have done this alone, and this was not a game of solitaire. So his associates and himself would have known what they were doing, maybe even when the declaration came. And the cash that wasn't could have still filled someone's pockets. In New Delhi, Haris Usman for NDTV.